Hey guys, what I'd like to do in this video is show you this mini PC, this tiny little computer which is in this black box. This was kindly sent to me by the company that developed this, Ace PC or Ace PC Electronics. And I always do appreciate companies that help support the channel, but as always, full disclaimer, it will not influence what I like and what I don't like about this little computer. Now, in this video, what I'd like to do is just show you the features, show you what this is all about, talk about pricing, etc., and then do an unboxing and show you the device. But after that, I am going to be testing it, I am going to be using it, and then I'll do another video where I give you a more in-depth look at what this PC is all about and just give you my thoughts on performance, etc. So if I jump over to my browser, you can see the Ace PC website. Now, I can't actually show you the model that I've got here. I can't seem to find it. It seems to be quite close to this one, but it's a newer version than this one. The one that I've got is this. The Intel Celeron G4125 CPU is inside. Now, some of the specifications here I think are pretty good, but some of them, you know, they're kind of dated. For example, there's four USB ports. Two of them are USB 3.0, but two of them are USB 2.0. You know, a kind of older standard, but you can see here the price of this is, you know, once you take the voucher off, £239.99. This is a cheap PC and whenever I review any product, you always have to take price in, into consideration. And this is a cheap PC. This is one of those tiny computers that you can use at the back of your monitor. You can attach this to the back of a monitor. You can use it underneath. You can use it underneath your television if you want to use this as a media center. This will be fine for light browsing, light gaming, etc. And... You know, you could use this as a retro gaming device as well. So there's a lot of things you can do with this, but just remember this is not a top of the range PC and it's not intended to be one either. You know, this is a basic computer, no doubt about it. So let's run through some of the specifications. Uh, the first one to notice is the, the CPU G4125. And you'll see some of the specifications here on the official Intel website. And as always, I'll share all of these pages with you. But you can see that it's a four core, four thread CPU. It's got a two gigahertz uh, base frequency, 2.7 gigahertz for burst. Uh, it's only 10 watts. I mean, this thing just does not draw power. But it's got DDR4 memory. That's pretty good. You've got eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory. So that's pretty good because a lot of these types of computers still only have DDR3 which, as you know, is an older standard. Now, I found this CPU benchmark. I don't know how realistic this is, how accurate this is, but you can see it's not as powerful as things like an i7-3770 going back a few years ago. But again, this is a Celeron. It's a quad-core Celeron, but it's still a Celeron CPU. This is not designed to be put up against some of these more powerful CPUs. It really isn't. Now, if you go back here, you can see... Storage, 120 gigabytes of eMMC. Now, MMC refers to multimedia card, and it's a type of solid state storage, and the E simply refers to the fact that it's embedded. Embedded multimedia card, that's all the E stands for here, and it just means it's soldered into the motherboard. So, with this type of drive, you might be limited as to the speeds that you'll get, and I'll show you that in a second because there are some reviews already, but the good news is, the good news is when it comes to storage, if you look down at the reviews, you can see this uh, person, for example, saying that the speeds of the eMMC were 268 for reading, 107 for writing, which will still stand up well next to mechanical drives. But it does have, apparently, I'll need to check this myself, but it does apparently have an M2-2242 SSD, which is the smaller M2 SSD format. And you can see here, you could upgrade this, add a 240 gigabyte SATA 3 uh, SSD, the M2 um, what's the what's the format there again? M two 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 M two 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 forty two. Um, you could add an SSD like that and just have a much faster device here. It will make a significant difference to the performance in this device. So it's good to, that you've got some options there. And if I scroll all the way back to the top of the page, you can see that it actually has a two point five inch SSD slot as well. So you can add in a a, a two point five inch solid state drive. That's pretty good. Other features here: you've got Intel Graphics six hundred gigabit net uh, internet or Ethernet. Um, you've got two HDMI ports, one VGA, four USB, two of which is USB two point oh. There's a headphone port. There's a, a a microphone port apparently, and there is also a Kensington uh, slot as well for connecting this to a desk, etc. So, 
I'll leave a link to all these pages. I don't want to bore you with this too much. At this point, what we need to do now is get it open. Okay, here we go. We've got the Ace PC. I'll set that to the side just for a second. We've got a quick start guide. It looks like it's in a few different languages. Yeah, it's got French there. Um, quite simple as far as setting up, etc. It's really just showing you how to set up Windows. And we've got a little box here as well. Quite nice packaging though. Quite simple. And here we have the three prong UK adapter. And we have what looks like to be an HDMI cable. It's quite good to throw that in as well. Um, which is, I guess, no surprise because these things are very popular as media devices. You know, they can be used, uh, you know, to, to watch Netflix and all that. Personally, what I'm interested in is using this as some sort of retro gaming device because if you think about how good you can set up retro gaming solutions with a Raspberry Pi, something like this will be much, much better. Okay, let's look at the main device. This is the Ace PC. And if I get this into focus and I zoom down, we can see it in more detail. So, first impressions are that this, de this design, I would say, is really, really nice. I think this looks great. So we've got a VGA port there. At the back here, we've got, what's that switch for? I don't know what that switch is for. I need to check that. Um, we've got a Kensington lock. We've got a headphone port. Um, we've got Ethernet. We've got, what's that there? HDMI 2, HDMI 1. We've got a USB 2.0 port there. And we've got the DC in. So that's the power port there. Going around the side, we've got another USB 2.0. We've got two USB 3.0s. Uh, and we've got a TF, micro SD card slot, and then we've got a power button. And then it looks like there's a little light there. So if, you, if you've got the PC like that, it looks like the power will go on there. Uh, and then we've got the base of the PC there, which if I bring up to the camera, you can see it, it, it gives you all the, the specs there. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes ROM. It's got the CPU there. It's got the 12 volts DC in as well. So I was looking around the PC there and looking at all the ports and I was looking at the base and I noticed that there's no visible screws here. The only screw which is visible is this one. So it looks like this is how you pop open the top. So I have my screwdriver. Okay, it's not moving anymore. Pop this off. Okay, here we go. So this is Voila, this is how you open up the Ace PC. And this is what it looks like. It's quite a clean design, actually. I quite like that. So as you can see, this is a 2.5 inch caddy, 2.5 inch hard drive caddy. And this is a SATA 3 cable. So there it's there. Now, as I was saying earlier, you do have this 2.5 inch drive, but in that review, it does seem to be a different model, but in that review that I showed you earlier, the guy does say here that you do have an M2 slot. And you can see it here. This is the M2 slot right here. And he's got his M2 SSD. Now, the reviewer here has actually been quite good. He says that you have to open it up like I did there, but then you turn the case over and you have to peel, peel off the rubber feet and essentially kind of open up the whole PC. Now, what he's referring to is, if I can get it open, is these feet here. So underneath these feet, will be screws. Ah, so you just have to get your fingers in there. Okay, so that's actually quite easy. You just have to get a nail in there. So you can see that the screw hole is exposed now. So the idea is you take the top part off, then you take the feet off, just kind of put them down, and then, let's see if I can feel this. You should feel a screw, I think. I do feel that there. Yeah, so then you can unscrew that, and then it will fall out. So I'll see if I can do this. So as you can see, I have removed all the feet from the base of the PC, but unfortunately, I still can't get off this grill. I've actually tried three different screwdriver bits, and I've went in, I've loosened them all. They don't seem to be actually attached properly anymore. I've loosened them all, but they don't seem to be coming off. Now, you can see the screws here of the caddy, which is very, very easy to remove, just three screws there. 
And this allows you to see what I was trying to do. The screw that I was unscrewing there is basically here. And that's what is attaching the, the grill to the chassis and you know keeping all the components in there and making sure this isn't just falling apart. Now, there is a chance that I've done something wrong here because you know there's no manual here to show you how to open this up. Maybe I've missed something. I don't think I have. I, I've done everything that I can. So there is a chance that this is a different model. They've maybe changed the design and perhaps it just isn't possible to get in there anymore. So you can see that I have attached the caddy back to the PC. Very, very simple to do that. You just have to screw in three screws there. And it's very quick and easy to attach the feet again as well. You basically just stick them on. Very simple. You can see the visa holes there as well. That's all good. You can use that to attach this to a monitor arm or to the back of a monitor. That is, that's a popular option as well. And I must admit, this is very easy to get back on. Uh, I will say though that I am a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to confirm or deny what was inside here. I really wanted to look at the motherboard, look at the CPU and confirm whether there is an additional M2 SSD drive slot in here. I cannot confirm that. I can confirm though that this does have 120 gigabytes of eMMC storage and as you saw it does have a 2.5 inch drive slot which is very easy to open. Screw out, pop it open, attach it. Very very simple. And that's not necessarily a, a bad thing if you just do use a 2.5 inch drive anyway because an M2 drive is slightly lighter. It is much, not much faster but it is a little bit faster. But a 2.5 inch drive will give you more value for money from a storage point of view. I mean, you can see this drive here, for example, the Western Digital uh, WD Blue, 500 gigabytes for 52 pounds. And, you know, in comparison to the M2 drives there, you're talking about double the storage for the same price. So it's not all bad. So it's really hard to, um, you know, be upset here if there isn't an additional slot. Now, as far as this being light, let's see exactly how light it is. So it looks like it is. So we've got 12.6 ounces, which is 357 grams. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the East PC Mini PC. As a reminder, in the box, you got this clean layout. And inside that, you got this power supply, which I think it's okay. It could have been a little bit longer, but I think this looks okay. The HDMI cable is probably a little bit too short. It's about half a meter, I think, about 50 centimeters. But it's hard to complain because I wasn't expecting that and most computers don't come with that. So it's a nice little bonus that they've thrown in. The user manual though, it's kind of pointless, if I'm honest. I mean, it's, it's easy to follow, but it doesn't tell you anything about the PC at all. This is really a beginner's guide to Windows and logging into Windows type of guide. So. Yeah, kind of pointless. They really should have done a better job there. But as far as the Ace PC goes, I don't know much about it at this point. It's a reminder here that this was a first impressions unboxing, looking at the features type of video. In my next video, I will be using this, exploring what it can do, looking at performance and just kind of using it and, you know, getting a feel for what it is and what I like and what I don't like. From a design point of view though, whilst it, you know, it is kind of plasticky, I do think it's nice. I think it's a nice design. I think this would look good in an office or in a living room underneath a TV or something. So I think the design looks good and we'll see this more in the next video when I explore this. But thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of the Ace PC and stay tuned because I will be exploring this much more in my next video. Take care.